Hi, welcome to her tool belt. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna turn this one by eight into a reindeer. This is patterned after a reindeer I saw online. I thought it was really cute, but it wasn't available to buy anymore. So I created a pattern that had a similar shape. He is the perfect addition to add to Santa's sleigh. Download and print the free pattern. I'll leave a link over in the corner. The legs and body pattern pieces need to be lined up and taped together. Then you can cut the pattern pieces out. Normally I try and save as much space as possible when tracing out my patterns, but I thought that knot would make a really good eye for the reindeer. I like to trace the pattern with a sharpie. It makes it really easy to see when cutting with the saw. I have the reindeer pieces all traced out on my 1x8 board and now I'm ready to cut it out. I'm going to be using a band saw to cut out the deer. You could easily use a jigsaw to cut out the, the reindeer pieces uh, if you'd like or a scroll saw will work great too. When you're cutting out curvy pieces of wood you want to make sure you always do things called relief cuts. So anytime you've got a, a tight turn right here where you can't flip, flip the board around easily, um, you don't want to get your blade stuck and get really hot in there. So before you get started um, cutting out the curves, you'll want to do straight shots into the, into the corner pieces and then go back out into the corner piece. So that way when you're coming around this curve, then that the piece will fall off and you'll have room to back out easily. You just don't want to get your blade stuck. So let's get started and we'll get this cut out in no time. Give all your pieces a good sanding. I used a pocket hole jig set for three quarter inch material and one and a quarter inch screws to join the head, antler, and tail onto the body. You can use whatever method is easiest for you.
To put the legs on, I lined up the legs with the reference marks on the pattern. Then I put a nail in the top of the legs to act like a pivot. I added a, a little wood glue and then stood the deer up to adjust the legs so the hoofs would be flat on the table. Then I added some more nails to secure the legs in place. I repeated the same process for the back legs. Paint or stain the deer as you'd like. 